once again it's Rick here from the Game Creators. This is the final video to do with my game Rictris, which is like a fan game of Tetris, just to show you the journey of starting from scratch all the way through. And I'm glad to say I have completed the game. So uh, what have I added since the last video? Okay, um, talked about a grace period for when the shape is settling. So as it's landing, sort of like half a second where you can move it left or right before it actually settles. So I've added that. I've added a title page, some scoring and some sound and music. And also I check for the end of the game. I could keep adding and adding to this game, but I've got to finish and this is where we're up to. So let's run the game and you can see all the things I've done. Okay, I've used some music. Um, I've taken it from uh, a free website and uh, you'll can see the details of that in the description and some free sound effects as well again all that's credited in the game uh, I've made the uh, logo and the text using um, a website again there'll be information in the source code and in the description of where you can do that yourself so yeah we've got a score here in the top left and high score there and uh, you just need to click to play and here we are, we're playing Rictris. Got a nice little sound of thud as the uh, items hit the base. sound effect when you clear a line. Let me show you the grace period. So let's say you wanted to move that. Oh no, there wasn't enough time there. Usually when you want to slot into a, a gap, we can't really do it there either. So the score and the high score are increasing every time lines are cleared. And let's just get to the end now. I'm going to use a physics effect to make all the blocks separate. Back to the title page and just click again. And we're off again. So that's the game. Uh, as I say, I could do a lot more to it, but I think uh, it's time to end this and move on to a different subject in my tutorials. So let's have a look at the source code, let's see what I've changed. So we've got some uh, new variables, high score, game over. The no space variable is used when there's no space at the top, and that triggers the end of the game. Uh, grace is the grace counter, so that just counts up or counts down when uh, it knows it's reached a point and when it equals zero then uh, the shape is then set in stone if you like. Um, so I've now got some titles, so we just go over to that. I load in a backdrop, sprite, position it and the same for the logo and the text to say click to start. Another thing to point out is when you've jumped to here to have a look, you can click here back and it'll take you back to where you came from. So that's quite useful. I've learnt a lot about App Game Kit uh, programming this as well. Uh, as code gets more complicated, then you get to use more of the power features within the IDE. So what else have we got? We've got Play Music Og, so that just starts the music that I loaded. Uh, where did I load that? Well, in I think it's in load images. I load the sound as well. Yeah, also load sound. Uh, Wood.wav and line.wav, they are the sound effects. And then bend sound, psychedelic.org is the sound effect I'm using. Okay, so the main loop has changed now. I just had a do loop before, but now within the do loop, I've got this thing called a select and case. We're using a variable called mode, and we set it to one initially. When app game kit, 
find the select command. It then looks at the variable mode and it will then run the code within the case where mode is equal to 1, which it is the first time. And this is where we're sitting on the title page. So wait on title page until the mouse click to start the game. If get pointer pressed, then the game must start. And we set the mode to 2, which means we would then be running this code next time we come round the do loop. And so let's imagine we've clicked. Then we hide the logo and the click to start image. We reset the blocks and we go to and create the blocks again and we clear the grid. We set game over to zero, score to zero, and no space to zero because these variables are important at the start of the game. Of course, if you don't click, then we just do a sync and we just sit around in this loop. If I run again, that's where this code is now running. It's going round and round this loop until I click. Then it sets mode 2 and off it goes. So mode 2, get the game started, and then all the code that we've discussed before. What's new is we've added um, grace. So again, this grace routine, just setting a variable to 10, and it counts down, so you've got a little bit of time to move left and right. Another feature to show you, if you double-click on a variable or a, a label, right-click, find usage, it will search the whole source code for that variable and it will give you here a result of all those and you can just click through and look through where that variable is being used in the source code. Really handy for finding out where things are. So, scroll down to here. This is where grace is, if grace is greater than zero, then it must have been set to say 10, uh, decrease grace. So. If it was 10, it goes down to 9. And move count equals move shape speed. You have to keep resetting move count, uh, otherwise a, a bug occurs. So, those are the main things. Um, what else have we got? Oh, yeah. So, at the very end of the game, we saw all the sprites dissipate in physics fashion. Um, this routine is run. So, uh, I set physics. Uh, I turn off the physics boundaries bottom left right and top I set the physics scale and gravity and then I go through all the sprites and uh, I set them to have physics on and make them dynamic and then give them a random velocity and um, yeah do all that and set the alpha color so they're faded off and that's it that, then they do their lovely effect I'll run it again show you again so there they all go boom just left to float away. It's quite a nice effect rather than just going back to the title page. And then when the game starts we have to reset the blocks so we go through them all, we delete all the sprites because they've got physics on and then we call, if you remember, if we go back to find usage, back up here, we reset the blocks then we create the blocks again. So those are the main changes within main.agc uh, there are no changes in there. What's in here? Yeah, we just got something. Yeah, this is when you press down on the uh, keyboard. There is no grace, so you set it to zero. Uh, in grid, nothing really new there. Lines, nothing new in that source code. The loader, yeah, we load the sound and load the music, and then we load the title pages, and then we create the sprites for the title pages and the background. Move blocks. Don't think there's anything new in that. Shapes, nothing new in that. So that's Rictris. I hope you've enjoyed it, um, following the whole progress. You can download the project and play around with it yourself. I'd love to see what people can do with the project. Maybe make your own version of it and show us online or on YouTube your version of Rictris. Um, yeah, so I've enjoyed it. It's been been challenging and I wish I never started it sometimes but that's programming it's good fun and you get achievements as you progress and uh, yeah on to the next challenge so please subscribe and like the video if you like it cheers now see you next time